Hello, and welcome to these new set of videos that we're going to do about LEGO Speed Champions and other uh, building cars as well. Uh, I'm Martin, and this is my daughter Willow. Um, so today, um, the reason for us doing this, this video is we ordered a bunch of these um, off-brand kind of uh, LEGO races cars. So this this thing is only like seven pound off AliExpress. Um, we've ordered a couple of other ones. So we've got this as well to build. And uh, this one. So we're going to be building these, but I thought before building them, it would actually be good to uh, rebuild some of my old LEGO Speed Champions because it's been a while since I built them. And to kind of remember the difference between the older models and the slightly larger ones that they brought out in 2020. So LEGO Speed Champions in the past were always like this uh, six brick wide design. Um, and they were they were pretty good, pretty cool, like um, quite detailed, lots of small pieces to build them. Um, and they, they do kind of represent the real life models that they were based on. But the, the overall scale of them was always kind of like squished and, and a little bit strange. Um, so so that you got them in all sorts of different styles of sports cars and rally cars and um, traditional road cars and that. And then in 2020, uh, they totally changed the way that they make these cars and they went to an eight brick wide format. So these cars are pretty much they're more like scale replicas of the actual real cars, like the, the dimensions of them are a lot closer to the actual cars. And just in design terms as well, that just that little bit of extra width gives them so much more power to add extra details into it. So so the, these ones look really cool. So this is one of the, this is the 2020 Lamborghini. Um, last year they also released this Nissan, um, which is, pretty cool and it's and they're and they're kind of like to scale with each other as well which some of the older ones weren't really uh, there was also these uh, Jaguar um, the, these came as a pair so that you've got the Formula E and this I can't even remember what it's called the sort of uh, I paste I think um, and then this, this one actually came with the Lamborghini as well. That was a set, so it's very similar in build uh, and kind of scale to, to this one as well. Um, and then the last one from from last year, there's also this Audi Quattro, which is kind of a lot more angular, but still very reminiscent of the actual car. And there's a lot of little details on this that they wouldn't have been able to do with a smaller six wide format. Um, so they actually last year also released this uh, um, Ferrari F8 Tributo model which is my favorite of last year's 2020 models uh, and I thought that I, I've broken that one down I'm going to rebuild it and we're also going to rebuild the older uh, Ferrari F40 model as well and uh, so both of these this one came out in 2020, did the Tributo, the F40 came out in 2019, I think, but you can still buy that one. Um, so I thought we're going to rebuild them just to remember the differences in how they build them and, you know, look at the quality while we're building it. So then when we come on, come on to build these off-brand ones, we can kind of see the difference between them. So I'm going to be building the Tributo and Willow's going to build the F40. So we've already broken them down, ready to build. So if you empty yours out. Oh, nearly lost the light. And then let's get started. Are you gonna talk? No. So one of the biggest differences uh, with the 2020 models is every every model before that used this starting piece. That was the, the basis of every single 
car basically. I think there was a the Mini didn't because this was too large for it, and I think one of the uh, F1 cars used a different base. But basically, this is like what Lego Speed Champions were all built on. And then last year, they replaced that with this. So pretty much every 2020 model uses this as its base. So you can see how much larger it is. Um, but it also has studs on the side, so you can stick things on the side. And this centerpiece is recessed, so they can add more sort of cockpit detail. Um, and you generally just got a lot more, a lot more studs on it. So you can start with yours. We'll just talk about it as we uh, get a couple of pages in, maybe. So we can kind of compare them as we build them up. It help if I can even find my first piece. <laughs> Spread them out a bit more. You're beating me, you haven't pitched it. I'm looking for dark grey, but it's light grey. That's why. Right. So, stick a couple of these on. And then get this. Is that the the wheel block, the other one of this, yeah. So these. So again, with the uh, with the larger base, you've got a larger block for the wheels as well. So this one being four blocks wide, and a six block wide version for the uh, the newer model. So it's just that those extra two blocks in width that you've got, but the wheels still attach with the pretty much the same sort of attachments. Now, I don't actually know what the uh, the age rating is for these models, but I've built them with my kids before and they've not really had any problems, so I think younger children can still build these, uh, even, though I, even though I build them for myself, uh, because I quite like the models. Uh, I think they're suitable for pretty much all ages. see this next piece. There's a couple of pieces that were still stuck together as well. I think it's the piece with the, the number plate on it.
know. What's the matter? I actually can't see this piece. Like, Get that piece because it's obvious where it goes, so I'll see it later. Uh, right, so we've got two of these. Two over here. And another one here. Now sometimes with these models it's just impressive how much detail they can get in a really small little piece that just gets attached to the car so this has a bunch of little pieces on it and this is just gonna stick right on the back of this car here. And another thing, um, I don't really think they did it much with the older models but they definitely do with the newer models, is the larger size gives them more opportunity to put bricks on their side and upside down and play around with how things attach where when you've got the smaller form factor it's kind of harder to do that so like this, this piece has these upside down bricks on the top now um, and it just it just creates this sort of flush feel on the back so it's, it's just different to the older models it's like one of those little details that you, that you notice So I think looking at Willows, just pick up yours, Willows is uh, quite different from mine in that she's already kind of started to build the, the inside of the body shape uh, and I think, I think there's a few of the, the older models that kind of like this and then all of a sudden you just end up attaching all the outer shell to them, uh, whereas mine is like, I, I haven't, we're both on part 16 but like I basically just got a flat plate with some bricks stuck to it so, so and, and she's got something that's kind of looking like a car already you know start looking a bit more like a car now attach the wheel arches you too no nope. yeah <laughs> uh. 
I think one thing that even with the older models that always impresses me with these is how like secure everything feels when you're making it it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart so not only do they manage to put in so much detail into the models but when you're attaching the wheel arches and whatever it's like just this one little piece here just totally blocks it into place and that piece probably serves no visual uh, use like you're not really gonna see that because it's gonna get covered up by something else but it's all those tiny little details inside it that make these so good black piece I was missing. Oh, I found it. A black piece I was missing off the bottom there. Um, so now I need the number plates, which luckily I just found straight away. Because we've already put the stickers on from before when we have, um, built these. You have to make sure that you use the right pieces, because they've already got the stickers on there. I think the one thing I often fall for, which most people do when building any Lego sets, is uh, if you don't lay out the pieces that you need to use before starting to assemble it, uh, you can often just miss a piece and then wonder half an hour later where the hell that piece goes. Um, so I'm making sure to get all the pieces that the page tells me. I'm not quite sure what the manual is going to be like on these on these uh, cheap versions, but it, it looks uh, like a pretty decent manual, at least for the, the two sports cars anyway. The other one just looks like a, a sheet of paper. So, um, so yes. This is Warren. Warren's going to help me build one of the other cars in a, another video after this one. I want to make the red one. You want to make the red one, yeah? What do you think of yours? Is it a car? Yes. Yeah. It still looks like you're sort of just layering up pieces, but you can see there's a lot more of the red pieces gone onto it now. I, I, I've pretty much only built the, the back end of mine so far. Um, but I think the one thing that you definitely notice is how quickly these things just suddenly come together. They look, they go from looking like a, like the bones of a car to an actual car. And I've still got probably like another hundred pieces here.
should have probably sorted out the pieces before we did this. <laughs> this is just half the video of me looking for pieces. Two and I'm on thirty. How many does your book have in it? I think mine's bigger. It goes up to eighty two. Goes up to three. Yeah. That's because there's a an alternate version of the model you can rebuild the front bit. Yours goes up to fifty seven. That's what you get for not reading the, uh, the whole page. So I think that's most of the back end gone in now on this one. So we've got some lights on there. Well, I say lights, you know, the transparent red pieces. Now, I should have a symbol on one of these slanted pieces. There it is. So I think one of the main differences with these cheaper versions is these are just purely custom models that someone has designed. I imagine they're probably based on the uh, the actual underlying construction of the official Lego models. Um, maybe some of them are just taken off the uh, websites of custom builders and that, and then resold. I don't know, um, but they're not really going to be one hundred percent accurate to the real life models like Lego tried to do with theirs. should have built this one at the speed you're going. <laughs> I think this one's definitely quite different to some of the other ones. I think even the, I think even the Lamborghini actually, uh, you built most of the body and then started finishing off the the other parts of it. I think, like I said, I can't I can't remember building them really, <laughs> the process of building them. 
because um, like this one is like purely just the back end that I'm building. That's the, the there is no front end yet. So, so that's actually, that's the back end totally complete because it's, it's all covered in the flat pieces now so I can't possibly build anything else on it, that's, that's that done. And we're about nearly halfway through the instruction book. And I'm still building on the back. Heading towards the cockpit area now. It's quite interesting, like sometimes some of the models have actual moulded uh, glass pieces like this, this uh, Ferrari model. Um, this one, the the actual back of the cockpit is a moulded plastic piece to look like the uh, the glass on the top. Whereas this one, even though this is kind of like the newer and I would say it's more detailed model, the the glass up the back is just literally transparent pieces on top of the black piece. And I think like from a distance, uh, you probably wouldn't even notice. But it's, it's, they potentially could have had a moulded plastic piece there and that would have been a bit more detailed. Saying that though, it's like you put these uh, these pieces next to it with the stickers on um, it kind of you know you, it takes takes your attention away from those plastic pieces anyway and then we get some fancy pieces which previously because of the size not no, none of the lego speed champions had like these little angled corners on and and it's not even used as you would normally use it like on a model Th these are actually positions uh, facing sideways uh, but it's the perfect size piece just to fill in the gap there so on either side of that plastic you've got that and I'm still just building the back it's like literally just chopped in half that's, that's it I'm still building the back just putting a couple of extra details on the top Finally, putting something towards the front. It's the uh, the gear shift. Oh, and some seats. Did you have a? Did yours have a seat? No. Some of the older models have an actual little Lego seat that the the guy could sit in. But I think because that took up quite a bit of space, they stopped doing that in a lot of the models. So you can see. In one that Willow's building, it just kind of has a a two brick high slanted piece with the the two by two still there, so the the character can sit in there. So with every one of these, you get two minifigures as well. 
Um, you generally get a male and a female driver, uh, or interchangeable driver and mechanic, whatever. Um, and that, like, generally, I've just given all mine to the kids, so the kids get to play with the uh, minifigures. There was just a little piece there that wasn't clicked in properly. Um, because I'm not too bothered about the minifigures, it's about the look of the cars. Uh, so I never really kept the minifigures out, and they, they'll, they'll just be somewhere in the big Lego box that we've got. Ah, I see. Right. So. So that whole half of the manual would have been bag one, basically. Yeah, and that, that takes you to, so if I'd have looked at the picture, you basically just built the back. Um, so now I'm onto the bit that would have been what was in bag two. Uh, I think it's generally a lot of small pieces for building the front now. Uh, it looks uh, quite complicated because it's it's all sort of built up and layered. I think uh, Willow's is looking more like a Ferrari at the moment than mine does, uh, especially with that badge on the front. I, I think I must have a piece with the badge. I'm not seeing. These pieces are always pretty cool, it's like the, uh, they go underneath the front of the, the car. It's always interesting to see how they design them to slot in and attach in strange ways sometimes. Missed two pieces there. Looking at the next part of the instructions, thinking, how the hell does that attach on there? Are you missing a piece? Missing two pieces, actually. You're missing two pieces. Missing both there. Little slanted lights. Oh, are they just red? Yeah. Just slanted red pieces. And where, was it? where are they? On the. Right, just just finish it without them, because okay. like I said, the uh, I don't know if because these have been out and they've been played with, some pieces might have come off, but those don't really look like pieces that could have fallen off. I'm pretty sure uh, I don't think anything slid off the table when I was getting here. But the cool thing is we've got so much Lego. If it's a fairly generic piece like these little red slanted pieces, we should be able to just find some of them. And you, you usually get a couple of spares of those really tiny pieces as well. Uh, and I do have a big spares jar just for the, all the spares that have come from all of our uh, LEGO Speed Champions. So we can always have a look later because that's just on the, uh, the back part of it. is now attaching to the front of my car. So I've got something on the front now. And a steering wheel. A steering wheel which a minifigure cannot actually hold because uh, his arms are too wide for it. So <laughs> I've always found that funny with the little Lego steering wheels. Like the guy just sits there with his arms like this and he can't actually touch the wheel. Oh, that's interesting. I'll just put it in the middle just 
uh, out of habit, but it doesn't. It actually goes uh, one brick over to the side, so it actually sits in front of the driver. So this this is now wide enough to have two seats. You see, with that that extra wide base that is on it, you can actually have two minifigures sat right next to each other. So that's one of the big differences with these new models as well. to be stuck on that. Should have been two of these. And then the steering wheel. And then this black piece. And then the grip. Right. That. How how about this? <laughs> I've missed something else as well. Are you missing something else? Yes. Yeah? What are you missing? This one. One of the main pieces. Both. How could you be missing that? Have a look in the Lego box. Like if you can't see them there. Or maybe check the sofa as well. You took it apart on the sofa. But when I looked at it, I was pretty sure that everything was there. Are you found on that? Just have a look. You'll be able to find those in the Lego box. You'll, you'll have to dig to the bottom to get the, the little pieces. Okay. Right. So one thing, like, I don't mind the kids playing with the cars. But when I see them like smashed in half or pieces missing, I'm like, where's where's the bits? Like, what have you done with this piece? And no, no one ever knows. Like we've literally got about forty kilograms of Lego in our box, so it will be in the box somewhere. Found a piece, and also found these two pieces. Oh, cool. Just like, like I was saying about these tiny little details, just putting this little piece on here, you have these two angled pieces right at the front of the car, and they just meet perfectly. It, and when it's all assembled, like you'll be able to look at it from the side, and you kind of see those little details in the curves. Now I'll do the other side. I think I've still got the the other bit that you can build for the front is in the uh, in the big box that you've got, or in my jar. And 
then sometimes you build a piece like this and you think, where the, where the hell does this go? And it just, this just slots inside the front here. So it's like kind of, it's got some, it's got a piece with an angled side on it. So then I've stuck other bricks on that. And then it has another brick with a stud on the front of it that is on sideways. And then a slanted piece on the front and, and this L-shaped adapter piece. And then that just slots in here. Just fits this gap perfectly. There's like no space at all. And the pieces under it had a had a gap where there, it was missing two studs, so that lies on it perfectly. And then again, just the very next piece just locks all of that into place just totally locked and now I've got like a weird uh, a half brick step down this is half a step down from this one but I know that that's correct and it'll all come together at the end uh, I don't think I'm gonna beat Willa because she's putting wheels on and I'm still miles away wheel arches for the front. They're easier to put on if you, if you don't have the, the axle on it. Occasionally, you get like a page like this, and it says you want three of these little black pieces here and here. So you're like, and uh, where does the third one go? <laughs> I mean, generally, it's fairly obvious. Like, but you have to look at the picture and go, ah, oh, right, that bit's black on the picture, and it's not black here. You done? Yep. So did you like building that one? Yes. So that's... You've got no wing mirrors on this, I've just noticed. Some of the older models... Uh, yeah. Some of the older models. Like this one kind of has these little green wing mirrors that just kind of stick out slightly from the edge of the body, which is slightly recessed. Um, but these, these ones don't know, they're just <laughs> flat little discs stuck on the side. Um, but I, I still think this model looks pretty cool. This is one of the older models. Um, and I think technically some, some of the more curvy models have more details on them, but I quite like the the edges of the F40 and the, and the Lego just captures it perfectly. Um, one of the things I'll touch on when I finish this one is um, the newer models generally have a lot more, a lot less exposed studs on them. So there's quite a lot of studs on the top of this. So it's still a sort of iconic Lego look. Whereas the newer ones, uh, in particular this uh, this Lamborghini here, uh, there's almost no studs visible from the top. It's all flat pieces all around even. Um, there's like some on the back, I think. I might be... Missing something off the back there, I can't remember. Um, and <laughs> the whole back of the car just fell. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of exposed studs here. And compared to this, the one that I'm building, uh, there's, there's generally a lot flatter. So talking about your wing mirrors, like I'm, I'm attaching the piece that the wing mirrors will attach to now. Uh, so so these this newer one, like that that Lamborghini actually doesn't have proper wing mirrors. In fact none of these do. 
Uh, this is this must be the only model that has proper wing mirrors. So I was quite impressed when I first built this that this uh, Tributo F8 has actual little wing mirrors that stick out and you can adjust them. So I think I've probably got about 40 pieces left, just a lot of these tiny little fiddly pieces just to build the, the rest of the front end now, so it's kind of halfway there. When some of the uh, the other models arrive from AliExpress, I've ordered eleven new cars, uh, and there were uh, I I purposefully wanted the ones that are eight bricks wide, like the new ones, because Lego haven't announced any for twenty twenty one yet. Um, I'm kind of expecting they will announce some for Christmas or something, and I'll definitely be buying them. Uh, but at the moment they haven't announced any and it was kind of like fun last year when they announced them i was buying one every month and that was like my little treat was get a new car every month but since they haven't announced any um i thought i'll have a look at these cheaper alternatives that you can get from aliexpress and the designs of them actually look pretty decent um they look different enough from the lego official ones that someone with some skill has actually designed them and put them together and the reviews on them were, were good as well so i think we'll see when we get around to them um but only four have turned up so far because um, those were from one particular uh seller and so there's another uh another eight to turn up uh, so my my younger sons they're going to help me build the these three that I've got here. Um, you can help me build some of the others, will I? Yeah. So I don't know which. You'll be able to see them when they come. I've got sort of all all kinds of different ones. There's one that's like a like an old pink Cadillac. Um, a couple of older style cars. Some more sports cars. Some rally cars. Um, some are just kind of like strange futuristic looking things as well which is kind of one of the advantages because i don't think lego would do that with these speech engines they are they are supposed to be actual champion cars and based on the real life models um so you can kind of get more out there designs Mr. Peace again. Wait. When did it tell me to attach those tiny little black pieces? This is all the way back here when I put the yellow piece on. But luckily, it is just two of these, and there's still space to fit them in. I don't know if these other ones are going to be this fiddly to build because uh, each of these next videos is going to be quite long if it is. Not quite sure how long we got into this one. So. Nearly there with this one. You can actually go and go and have a look, see if you can find my spare pieces box. I think it's on the shelves under the games or something. 
because there's a different front end for this and I think I kept it in the spare box. I just said, I think it's under the games. Oh, this, these have, you might not even be able to see it on the video, these tiny little pieces have the Ferrari, it's going to focus on my face instead, have the Ferrari symbol on them. Uh, so it's a good, I don't, I don't actually know, I might have inadvertently used one of those uh, elsewhere in the model. But these are supposed to go right on the side here next to the wing mirrors. Oh, no, I think I got lucky. I found both of them. And then these little curvy pieces on the top. So again, it's just these tiny little curved pieces just covering up the studs there on the top. So you don't see the actual studs. And this one would punch people. Yeah, I think that's it. Is that just, just empty that out into your box? Oh, yeah, empty that out in the box and you can take the uh, that front piece in. Oh, right. I'm getting to the pieces with stickers on them now, so I need to make sure I use the right piece. That was the wrong one. Right, person. So I did keep some of the people then, so you see, you can, you can show what you get. I think I've used the wrong piece somewhere because I don't have any, <laughs> any more with stickers on. It should be. can talk you know you can say hello look so so like I said you get a little female figure I think this one uh, it's not one of the Ford ones I think this it came with the, the all right yeah it came with the uh, what even are these now Panasonic uh, Formula E thing um, so this this little lady came with that and there was also a a guy as well wearing a strange hat. Uh, always wear wearing the uh, rims on his head, is he? Yeah. And I got some other ones. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think I kept all the ones that came with the, uh, the 2020 models actually. I think that was just because I had the box handy. So, but this this thing here, um, this is like an alternate front end for Willow's car, so you can actually rebuild the front. That, you know, that's what's at the back of you. So, so here she's got like the classic kind of regular, what you think of an F40. Um, so she rebuilds that with the instructions to put the other one on. Stop. Stop. So it's only, only slightly different, isn't it? Yeah. I don't actually know which one I would consider like the classic one. This this just has this slight drop down front end. It's really just a different colour, isn't it? I, I thought I thought it was slightly different. I've got um. There was definitely one of the other 
Ferraris had a totally different front end when you rebuilt it, and I thought it was this one. Um, but that's that's just the intakes on the front is different. <laughs> what and we've got we've got little Bob Ross mechanic I think here. What? We do actually have some Bob Ross there. We could put that on him. Uh, I prefer that I made better. The, the person that you made yeah. better. What well, better than what Lego did? Yes. Yes. You should complain. Your minifigures are rubbish. The cars are good, but uh, you need to make better people. Right, so I think I'm finally putting my badge on the front, which uh, doesn't have a sticker on it, on the picture, but I know which piece it is supposed to be. And then this sticker's on the front. So it's looking pretty much like a Ferrari now. I mean, I'm missing doors it's like where the hell how from these pieces that I've got left do I actually build doors? Oh I see. It's a, it's another one of these crazy bits where you attach some random bits of Lego together and then it sticks on sideways. Two angled pieces, which are like these tiny little 45 degree angled pieces, they just fit together there. That's gonna form the edge of the door. Um, then we have this and this and this. So that is. Uh, Basically, one side of this car I'm just about to slot on. Angled pieces just cover up the gap in the bottom. And then we do the same on the other side. Do they take any pieces? I uh, don't think so. Okay. I think I've got everything that like after this is literally just wing mirrors and that's it. So that goes in there. And then the two angle pieces. Do you want to build my wheels? Oh, it's okay. Break the table. And there we go. So that is pretty much finished. And like I said, got actual little movable wing mirrors like these. You just move slightly so you can have them sticking out just naturally at an angle like you'd expect. Uh, so then we can just stick the wheels on. So one thing, even with the older models, there's 
always amazing is the, the tolerance around the wheels. There's literally like a millimeter of space between these wheels, but the wheels just spin true. Um, and, it, and it can it can roll about. It can't turn, obviously. Um, but it's the same for this model as well. So the wheels spin dead smooth. I'm not expecting that out of these uh, off-brand versions, to be honest. But pretty much uh, all of these all of these models do spin pretty well. I think that's one of the things that is maybe going to make these stand out compared to the uh, the AliExpress versions. I'm not expecting them to actually run very smoothly. Uh, so then we have one final piece, the glass to put on top, which just totally transforms the look of the car. So there's so much, so much detail on this car, and and like I said, there's like literally just a couple of exposed studs on this um, and I'm sure they probably could have even covered those up. Some of these have far less studs visible than others um, but this is still, that's my favourite model of 2020 is this one. Uh, it's just so detailed and just the scale of it looks like the actual proper model as well. Like I like the, the older ones but the scale of it is just way off. It's like it's not that long and that tall. You know, it's supposed to be a, a sleek sports car, and this, that's what this looks like. Um, so, so that's it for this video. Uh, we're basically just comparing, building the 2020 models, the wider Lego Speed Champions that we get now, and hopefully we're going to get some this year. Um, and comparing it to the older models, which detail wise, I think that there's still a lot of detail in there when you're building it, but there's a lot more layering goes on inside these new models as you're building up. Um, so the next video, uh, I don't know which car we're gonna do first, but we're gonna start building these AliExpress models and individually reviewing them and sort of comparing it back to this build process of building this. So this is going to be our baseline. It's like, are these seven pound models as good as these ones? So, so I think this cost uh, 15 pounds, something like that, 16 pounds, I think. And the double packs, so you got the uh, the two Lamborghinis. I think this was like 35 pound. Uh, so so you got, you got the two cars for 35 pound and the same. Yeah. The same for the these two, uh, these two cars as well. I think they, this was a pack for like thirty five pound. Uh, all of the older models, uh, the older Speed Champions were basically like nine ninety nine, eight ninety nine or something when they first came out. The first few years, I think they're even cheaper than that. And then uh, from twenty nineteen, I think they went up to went up a little bit to like twelve ninety nine. So then they brought out the 2020 models and these were more expensive but I, I think the price is warranted like you get a, a more realistic looking car so yeah thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the next videos anyway where we're actually going to build some of these AliExpress models and hopefully find out if they're actually any good so thank you